Hi, it's me again. Um, two videos in one week. What's, up? What's happening? Um, right then. Back. <laughs> Nearly broke something then. I've had a rearranger down down below, you know. I put some paints. I'll show you in a bit what I did. It's a bit, yeah. You know, I got bored. Um, right then, what am I going to do? Just talk, well, I'm going to talk about this thing that's behind me here in a while because I don't think you've seen that for a bit. But I'm also going to start this reflection in my eye. So never trust anybody. You can't see the colour of their eyes. Yeah, there you go. Um, as you know, I am heavily into digital and I believe that the computer has a great big part to play in what I do and what I'm sure a few other people might do. Oh, you may have not tried it yourself, but the, cam the, the camera, the computer, your printer can make wonderful things. Or even if you just buy, um, I don't know why I'm scratching my head because I had a shower last week. No, I had it this morning. Um, so I'm going to talk about how, as you know, I, I, I'm self-confessed, hands up, I cannot draw to save my anything. I used to be able to, I used to be very, very good. However, having let it lapse for, excuse me, why do I always do it? Do you know, it's that I'm hooked on peanut butter and jam sandwiches. You may call it peanut butter and jelly. I don't. I call it peanut butter and jam, which is what it is, because it's jam. It's not a jelly. You don't put custard on jam, unless it's in a pie or a roly-poly pudding thing. <laughs> then you can put custard and cream on it. So, anyway, where, I digress. Um, where was I? Now, yeah, go on, here we go. Focus, Alan. Um, so, I'm going to start doing a few little videos, not, not long... I won't bore the pants off you on some digital how to's what to never mind to wasn't interested go away don't bother me oh brilliant kind of things oh did you know does that mean I'm telling lies it does doesn't it it means I'm telling lies I'm not honestly I'm telling the truth I am telling the truth now then um, my head's all over the place at the moment today I've got so much going on that I really don't know where I'm at. It's, it's you know when you get one of them days that it's... Ooh, anyway, I'm going away from what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to talk about this thing that's here in a minute and show you. Um, then I'm going to show you about how to copy and draw in um, for a project. And then what I'll do in future videos is I've got some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful CDs from... Um, Peerless Designs, which um, they're going to feature in a couple of videos on using some of their line drawings on bringing them into what we want to do. So as I said, all you need is um, your camera or a CD with um, other illustrations on. Some software would be nice. I mean, I know we can't all afford pho Photoshop CS, which is what I use. However, there is, if you maybe buy a couple of the older versions of Photoshop Elements, um, I think because they do tend to give them away now if you buy a Ken new camera. And, if, and don't, don't, I'm not saying go out and buy a new camera, I'm not. I'm just trying to find ways around it. There's also a program, I'm, I've not really explored GIMP. And what's the other one? Hang on a minute. I keep forgetting this other one. But I should remember it. Um, Inkscape. So there's GIMP and there's Inkscape. I think GIMP tends to do more SVG files. I think, but don't you know? Don't hold it. Like, saying that well now then. So deep breath. Um, I'm going to try and show you how to do some drawings, and then I'm going to do things down here. But there's, you don't. I've. A lot of my stuff, this is why I've got to stress that a lot of us that we do these videos, we've built up many, 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 in some cases 20, 25, 30 years of equipment. So I don't want you to think that because I've got this, this, this and this, that you've got to have this, this and this and that. You don't. There are ways around it. There are ways around things that you can buy little bits here and there. 
and I'm also hopefully working on some more stuff but that's hush hush for in the, that's coming out soon but there's a way around things like I'm going to show you the light the my light box now the, my light box has been with me for a long 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 time and I have I bought a little, little one just in case I wanted to sit there I think but you don't have to use the light box as I say when I come to it I will sort of talk about it and other ways around it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you off the doodah and we're going to point at the picture and I'll just talk about it a little bit and see how it's going and see what you think okie dokie so I'm just going to disappear for a minute and do a bit of you know moving um, behind the cameras and then we'll see where it goes okay right then I'm going to try and stand back a little bit and I'll try and zoom in if I can um, no that's zooming out Alan no I'm going to take it off the case sorry right take it off and walk up to use it let's go moving this could be a bit scary especially if I, like I did the other day I was moving I forgot it was on the lead plugged in and I pulled uh, half the shelf down so check lead lead checks right this is one that I've been doing for some time now um, these here these are digital what I did was I printed these onto tissue paper um, admittedly I've got to hold my hand up and say I have a laser printer for this kind of work a laser printer is really a must so if there's several of you I know I said this before several of you that want to come together and get one just get a little black and white one they're coming down in price all the time it's like anything else um, I've got I've got and I keep going on but I've got I've got I've got please I don't want you to feel that you've got to and you've got to go out and buy it because that is the last thing I want I have two I've got a colored one and a, a black and white one I only got them for a simple reason if I had my inkjet and I threw stuff out it would just get wet and I don't want to go spending money on spraying them so that they become water resistant so let's talk about this. right this here is corrugated car cardboard it's just Joe if you take the top off let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit if you take one layer off come on focus focus if I zoom out a little bit there you go if you, if you split it this is what you get with it it's amazing picture now there's a little slight story behind here this red enough I used a wax crayon thinking it was a water wax crayon I know water wax doesn't quite sound right but apparently it does it, it wasn't it kind of ruined my water brush so to try and hide it and blend it I've really had to work these in but fortunately it's come out and it's really worked well I'm really pleased with it this here is the um, this little beads suspended in a medium like little glass beads here again which I just wanted something not I didn't I wanted something see-through so that's why I didn't go for the the normal stuff now as I say these are um, do, printed onto tissue paper via my laser printer again I've gone with the corrugated here this here was a stencil and what I did is that I got some of my um, Artex and I colored it blue and then after I've done it I came across in a cupboard is I'm now I'll show you why I've now sort of got things more on display than I had before because I wasn't using that and I know I'm in a position where I can put things on display so please I don't want you to feel that you know I hope you understand anyway I came across I found this I picked it up on a from that shirt that well I, I call it the Hellmouth, and I'm sure you all know what it is. It's um, C and C, and it is a TV crafting station. Anyway, there was a job lot going, and there was quite a lot of them in a box. If you can see there, there was a lot going on. So I bought it. I bought the three boxes. I think it were and a lot of it was duplicated so anyway I've used this this gel medium I filled in here can you see 
so it's like it's smooth it doesn't stand out and it gives that sort of watery effect I like in fact it has come out really nicely so I'm pleased with that now let me come some down here we've got a bit more thingy and then here is a band from a paper cup set of strips that I bought this is the first one that I've used and I still got a great big box filled these are out of some magazines that I've just taken out and just ripped a little bit that is a photograph that I coloured, black and white photograph that I coloured in with um, using my alcohol pens and then I don't know if you can see it but there's a slight um, if I move it, I wonder if I can move it a bit you might be able to see a slight sort of glitter to it well with that from the same lot I used a bit of this glitter paste I've had to scrape it on rather than brush it on because the brush didn't work and again the brush is now in uh, semi retirement well it's stuck in a book of water waiting that is just a little uh, I stamped then I embossed here so there's quite I've thrown there's quite a bit going on here there's still a little bit needs to be done um, I'm very pleased with the way this bit here has turned out because this was a, a picture of an internal of a great big of a, like a cathedral and the way it's turned out that I can see it here and apologies it's not coming through that it does actually blend this bit here does blend in and it does look quite good I know I'm saying it myself but I'm very pleased with what's going on here I just need to finish it off a little bit there's just a few not a lot there's I'm about I'm just a little bit away from finishing this off and then what's going to happen next is I'm going to, I'm going to teach myself how to um, to put a, I want to put a layer of oh what is it resin on the top so that it can it can be uh, protected right as, while I've got the camera over here I'm going to just unplug this zip right I can move around now without thing I've put things on display because I was not seeing things here as you can see I've got a house brick and then I've just got one of them plastic tubs put it at an angle and I can now see these and if I want one I just go and grab it and pull it out which I think for me is working and then over here I've got my dilution ink sprays which again were hidden in a box and I couldn't you know I, I could never get to them or out of sight out of mind so to speak and then under here I've then got there there is the the spray the cosmic sprays again they were out of sight out of mind I'm not quite finished with this here I need, I need to see everything and I've got some other sprays over there so I can now see things <coughs> excuse me and then up there I've got my pens so more of the stuff that I want, I can get at. Um, I'm using my ink pads less and less at the moment. So I'm not too bothered about them being hidden a little bit. And then under here, I've got my paints and the uh, incense or so. As, uh, just a little bit, quick little guided tour. Nothing much. Just showing you what I've done about sorting things out. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to put this onto the gantry. And then we're going to do talk about some di some uh, digital stuff. So I'm going to pause you for now, and then I'll come back to and speak to you in a bit. Bye for now. <laughs> Hi there, I'm back. Now right then, let's just get some some light on here, just for the time being, because I will be switching it off soon. Now then. As I said, I told you before, I'm not the world's best illustrator, I'm not. So, what I do is, I take what image I want to uh, draw. Now this, would you believe it, is off an old 1950s, 60s, 70s um, dress pattern, I think. I'm not sure where it is. It's, it's one of these copyright free ones anyway. So, what I do is I... I've enlarged, enlarged it up in my pro, the program that I use and just printed it out. Now this is just printed out on normal um, late, uh, normal inkjet. And then I just mount it 
onto the card I'm using. Right, for this one, I have two sorts. I used, I tend to use two sorts. Well, three, because I've got a very good, high quality um, um, paper, which is hit, kind of put hidden away, and it's. Uh, it's not there. So there's either the Bristol board, the Bristol board, which is a nice thick paper. It's 250 grams, and it's white. And then there is the Windsor and Newton drawing sketching paper. This again is smooth, but it's not a white. It's like an off-white. If we put the two together, can you see? It's quite. It's not. So it's not quite what I wanted, but they, they aren't cheap. These, but there's a lot of paper in here, and if you look after it, I don't use it all the time. I just use it when I need to use it. So it's one of these items that I buy once, and it could last me a year. It could last me six months. It all depends on how how long I use it. Now then, if I then put that there, all right. How do I transfer this onto here? Well, there's two ways. There's, obviously, there's two ways. There's using a light box, which is like what we've got here. I've got two here. This one at the bottom is a professional. Well, it's a bigger one. If I show you, it's a you know it is a big and it's bright and it'll sing. So then this one is a bit smaller. I wonder if I can get into it. And it's got here we go, let's see if it come on. No, I think I'm gonna break it if I get, try to get into it, but a lot of them have got little oh here we go. It's just got an fluorescent tube there. But it's just put in here. Right, have I have I got a spare just to show you? Unplug this and then plug this one in. Now I'm not I've put this on for a while, so fingers crossed it's gonna work. Alright, there you go. It's not as bright, but it's still a light box. So I'm just wondering whether it will actually pick up on this. It should do. Yep, there we go. It's not the easiest thing into see, but it was a lot better than that, but you can still see it. The third option is just with some low tack tape very low tack tape put it onto the window oh and it's a nice bright day put it on and let the sun be your light box <laughs> you know it's you don't have to go and pay, spend all this money for these now this wasn't that this wasn't too expensive um i'm not sure it was about the 20 20 25 pound mark but again, it's one of them things that you buy once and you'll only need it the once, apart from changing the bulb. So if I put this over here for the time being, and then we'll put it into its house where it lives, and then we'll just switch this on. There we go. And as you can see, this gives me a lot better definition, and I can see it straight away. I've got my pencil, which I will use first of all, and I've got my rubber. So all I will do, if I switch this down, it might give you a better idea of what it's like. There we go. So, okay, so just sitting down, making myself comfortable. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Is it coming through? No. If I do that, how's that? No, I'm going to have to put both of these lights off just for showing you for the time being, aren't I? But it is there, I promise. So all I do is I just take my pencil and then draw. I'm not paying too much attention. As it's only a freehand drawing, I, it's not a work of art. So, I 
There we go, right, let's, and that comes down there like that. That comes there. Because what I do, the reason why I do it in pencil is that it's easy for me to erase. And then I will go over it with a black pen, a black marker. Right, let's just, I'm not going to do, as I say, I'm just going to do a little bit just to show you what I mean. And then we will then, I'll switch off and the next bit that's important or that I think is going to show you something, we will then take it from there. Right, you can see there's some folds here, so that's a fold there like that. Um, there's a fold there like that. And obviously you're going to go very quiet when you're drawing. It's, it's, as I said, it's a given. There we go. Then. Follow that there. There's a waist there. And then there's a few lines here Just get most of the lines in that we can see, and then there's one there because of the, and then there's a back gap there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got lines, we've got bits there, then we've got that one there. that goes there then we've got that line there right what I'll do is I'll just do this figure and then I will switch off and we can go on to the I'll then go on to the standing up <coughs> Right, there's a hand. I'm terrible when it comes to hands. I cannot draw hands for toffees. Well, so what I'm just, I don't know how I'm going to do that because that's not drawn in. So I'll just have to sort of um, try and wing it somehow. But she is on a ledge. So let's just put a ledge there like this and a ledge there like that. And what else do we need to do? Right, the, around here there is a line there, there's a line there, then there's a dart there, and there's a sleeve cap there. Let's go to the face. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here because it's quite dark, but if I just go around with the outline of what I think's going on, it's something that can be, you know, done later. There's a hairband there. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I have drawn, and then we've got the eye here. And the lips there, and we got a bit of a cheekbone there. So, right, there we go. That's what I've done. And as you can see, it's it's come out perfectly okay for me. 
I've got here now, I've got my background to do my, uh, I just need to take my black pencil, my black, uh, my black marker, and here I've got the um, figure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put it on pause, and then I'm going to um, do this other figure, and then we'll come back and I'll show you, and then we'll start looking at doing the black. So I will be back in a minute. Hi, this is me. Right, a bit of a change of angle. It's just going to be a quick one. This just to show here um, about something I want to share with you and show you. Right, I've had a bit of a play and an idea because we're talking about this. We can't sort of draw, I and mean, we want to bring up some images. So, say for instance, this is some images that I've got from a CD that I bought, and they're, you know, they're perfectly good for wanting to trace around, they're simple, they're clean lines, clean lines, lines, so I was thinking, yeah, this would be a great idea. Now, this is the one that I'm going to think of, start off with, here, now, so that's the one that I was thinking. Now, there are three options when it comes to some programs that can handle what we're going to do in a easy way and they are free the first one is open office the second one is inkscape however inkscape i think tends to lean more towards the svg files for your cameos etc and your die cutting machine so i think we can safely say we'll put that one to the back burner because i think it's while it's very good for what it is, it's not really what we need. However, for a free program, I think we would definitely be looking at GIMP. Now, here, we'll forget about this for a minute. We'll just put this to one side. Here we have quite a few tools that are very good and they're useful. That a lot of the other sort of design packages have you have you know so there are plenty of good videos out there showing you how to do and how to use the tools on GIMP I'm not a professional when it comes to be using it it is just something that I've got her found got hold and I thought well I'll, got, I'll share it with you and it can handle I think it handles more almost anything when it comes to a JPEG a TIFF a PNG. These are all files associated with drawings. Right, if I show you in here, let's go um, large. Here I've got these are JPEGs, which is the JPEG. These are your photographs when you take your photographs. You then have TIFFs. Now, I don't, I'm not familiar with these, you know, the, these different um, signs and what they are and what they're used for. Um, I did attend the class when we were talking about it. However, I think I fell asleep. Um, but you can get a lot of BMP, GIF, which is GIF, TIFF, PNG. These are the ones that you'll be used to and you'll hear about. So... If you're stuck, just go onto YouTube, type in what is a, or go to Google or whatever search engine you use and type in what is a TIFF. Okay, so I use um, Google for my sins. So let's just type in what is a TIF file. There we go. And it comes up here, TIFF is a computer file format for storing raster graphic images. Popular among those graphic artists, the publishing industry, and blah, blah. So it gives you a little bit about what it is and what it does. So you can do that with any of the file formats. Just type in what it is. Right, so we've decided that we're going to use 22, I think it's 227, which is 22222, which was that one there, 227. I've brought it in to, let's just close that down, I've brought it into GIMP, right, as you can see it's quite blurry, we've gone from a small image and we've brought this up to A4 size, it's not sharp, 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 but for what we need 
because we are then going to use this as a drawing tool. We're not going to use it as the final image. So when I printed it out, this is what I've got. I don't know if we can see it. No, you can't see it though. This is what I got. Um, but a bit of them. I'll show you more on whether I put it onto the gap, the uh, the overhead. So this is what I've got. I can recommend um, downloading GIF. What I will do is that I will put a link on this video so that you can download it, have a play, have a look, and see what it can do for you. Again, I like the magic word. It's free. So what's the harm? There's no harm at all downloading and playing it because it is free. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this section down and then we're going to go over to the uh, light box and we're going to trace this onto some paper and then we're going to start doing building up the composition. Okay, right, I shall uh, see you in a bit then. Hi, right, <coughs> I'm back. Oh, I'm just going to get a cup of tea because I've got something in my throat. Um, right, do you remember I showed you that drawing yesterday? Which was this one. I showed you that. Let me just sort of zoom out a little bit if I can. I, don't know. I showed you that. Well, this is how it's coming on at the moment. Um, quite I'm pleased with it. As I say, I'm just taking it easy just by overlaying it. And then I'm just using a very simple structure of using the lines uh, keeping it quite simple quite clean so that's that one and I've got a few more now the, this paper here that I'm using yeah I'll just show you it's a professional quality and this is called um, a marker pad now in the design industry these are uh, bleed proof which they use for visuals, so if I use my alcohol pens on here, it won't bleed. So, that's perfect. However, that is just the alcohol pens. It will bleed if you use water, because it's not made for doing water. So, that's why I'm keeping this very clean, very simple. It is a nice white. And so, I've got, let's just put these away. As I'm, I've also got a few more I'd like to show you that I'm doing. As you can see, I don't like to just keep one. Here's another one. If I just, I'll tell you what, it might be better. Uh, let's just see if I can switch it on. You might get a better idea about it. Uh, can you see? The, that's another one that I'm, I'm going to be doing. And then we have this one which has oops that's two together I thought it looks a bit dark then we have that one which has got the four the four different um, silhouettes <coughs> a single silhouette here which you know it, I can do that on a painting. It's simple. It's it's my kind of style, which I kind of like. I'm not heavy into the. I can't do the heavy painting, painting, painting. But this hat, simple, drawn, put onto a, a onto a uh, into a project would be fine. And then we have a little bit. This one here, which is a little bit more casual. All these have been done. Is I've just scanned them in using my scanner, and then. I just enlarged them using the program that I use and I then just printed them out on on an inject printer and you know they're perfect for what I need <coughs> so let's put these somewhere here and let's take out what we're going to be working with and the beauty of this paper also is that if I wanted to put it onto a board or something it will you know it's going to be I'll be able to stick it down and I'll be able to uh, you know and it, it's not going to be sticking out like a piece of card or something or once I paint I've done it I can then cut it out 
and you can do the old transfer. You know when you do the uh, put paint something on the back, or just use some um, what's it stuff that typing that we used to use when the older days. They used to put it behind and uh, do it that way. Anyway, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just switch this off for a minute because I can see the postman's coming and I'm expecting a delivery today. So what I'll do is that I'm going to pause now and then I shall come back after I make myself a cup of tea and we'll start again. So I'll see you in a minute. Right then, here we are. Oh, let's just get comfortable. I've got a cup of tea, well, a mug of tea here for when I get thirsty. Let me just put it down here. Mm. It's gone a bit cold but I love it still. Right, this is what we're going to be doing. I've got my pen, my pencil, don't know what that's doing there. <coughs> and there's the rubber. And I've got my selection of black marker pens. Um, I think I will be using the the pit ones, or um, I don't know. Probably we'll be using these today. Um, excuse me a minute. I'm just going to do what I normally do. When I, why do I always do it when I start um, a video? I do apologise. <coughs> now then, I've got my feet straight and I've got them fixed. Now <coughs> we're going to trace this because I want to use this image on my on a project it's going to be simple to do because I mean we've we've done the hard bit really by enlarging it up sorry is it out of shot that's the hard bit let me just get my trimmer bear with me just a minute I think I could do with chopping that down a bit Just so that, uh, so that a bit easier to handle then. Um, let's go about there and put that away. Always oh, come in handy this stuff. I'm even the little pieces because it's such good paper. <coughs> it's worth uh, keeping. Now that now is a lot more easier to handle and to move around because <coughs> excuse me I'm a firm believer in why one make life difficult for yourself by having to stretch over here or do over there if it's close to you hang on, I'm just not getting quite comfortable here am I I'm not sort of showing you I'm not in the picture so by if I'm working here and then I'm I can move it around, it's a lot easier for me to do. Right, so let's put the light box on. I'm going to turn this light out. Um, can you see what I'm doing? Or would you rather have the... Let me just have a look see what... There's no real difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here. Now, just slowly, take your time, it's not a race. Make yourself eat, then just, I'm going to try and keep as much as I can back. Let, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This will be easier for you so that, because I've got my head down, I don't know what I'm doing. So, just so that I can get this in the pit frame all the time for you and I don't get lost. So if I put that there and then this bit here. And like there. What I'm doing is I'm just putting down some little bit of tape so that I've got an area that I know that while I'm working on you can then you can then see it. So let's just go around here. Use easy easy strokes. Because I mean like you can see this one here, this is quite a nice large flowing. And then we go around here. It doesn't matter if we don't join them up straight away because we can do that when we start to use the black pen. Because what I'll do is that I'll try and remove as much pencil as I can 
before I do it right now then this is going to be a bit difficult with the lips so I'm just going to try and copy a little bit and then with this I'm going to have to see where I am when it comes to the final print right let's go here with the eyes now and then the eye goes down there like that and then there's a bit of a gap there like that because I think that's a shadow then we've got the eye then we've got the eye there so if we bring this down here this is quite thick here bring this eye shape around here that goes there and then the eye goes there like that now, that's sort of taking the shape a little bit so we now think about bringing this here round following the contour as I say go as far as you can <coughs> Don't think if you have to go down here, because if you start moving more than where you're comfortable, that's when you'll start making errors and you'll start making mistakes when it comes to doing lines. Just do all that you can. And, you know, it'll work its way out. It'll sort itself out. Right, and then let's go... here and then we've got hair here and then we've got the bit of the hat here <coughs> right this is where we've got the circles so let's put it into a position where we're going to be comfortable and then just draw the circles in. And as you notice, I'm going quiet. I'll just tell you about the background music. It's the Killers. One of my favourite, favourite, favourite groups. I mean, the reason why I like them is their work is so individual that they don't rely upon one sound. Which, in today's music, they a lot of the bands, they seem to keep to the same. The other band I really like um, is, is Queen. Again, they weren't scared to push the box out a little bit and to do something different. Poor Freddie, it's um, one of the, the greatest rock voices ever. And yeah, it's, and he's also one of the talent, most talented you know, for the songs that he wrote, well, along with the band and everything. They all contributed. It wasn't just one one person, but I just think. It was. I've got all their music anyway, so as you can tell, I am a bit of a, a fan. <clears throat> so and it evolved. Strange, you know. Though I wasn't a bigger fan of his solo stuff. I mean, some of it was uh, good, but I wasn't. I don't know what it is, but I just wasn't a, a sort of bigger fan as when he was with Queen, when they were working together. Strange that, isn't it? I think it's, that can happen in a lot of cases that, you know, you find a certain group that when they're together, they're just like, that's it. They make the sound that you like. Yet, when they start to go solo, you think, well, you know, hang on a minute. I suppose because they have to try something different, they can't rely 
upon what's already been done. <coughs> so, and so therefore they have to go, I don't know whether they have to go into a new direction or people will just say, oh, it's just the same stuff. But it's just um, the single, you know, it's just um, Freddie being, you know, Queen, but without the rest of the group. So, I don't know. But I still play his music and I still enjoy it. And when you think they're responsible, Queen, I, this is going to end up being a video, a big talky video about Queen, isn't it? But when you think they're responsible for some of the biggest um, rock anthems, stadium anthems, <coughs> you know, you begin to think. Right, I've gone over that line there. Can you, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? I made, I sort of put a line across where the thing should be, but never mind. That's, we'll just take it from there, we'll just redraw these lines in. That's the beauty of uh, doing it before. And I'm not quite sure what's going on to there until I actually see what's going on. Right, I think that is that. Um, yep, I think that's that. So let's just remove this from the backing sheet. And then let's have a look to see what's happening. <coughs> right, that's the... Oh, can you see it? Maybe, right, I'm going to turn this off now. I think we need to have the lights on now because we're not tracing anymore. So. Right, as you can see, we've. this is what we've started off with and this is where we are now. Which I think is a good, is the word facsimile, it's the same thing. Um, and we need to do some work on the hair, obviously. But I'm happy with that. Um, this, I'm not too sure about where this is going. But I think that needs to come down there like that. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. Mm. A cup of cold tea, perfect. Mm. And as you can see here, <coughs> we've got some lines going here, which I don't know whether that's the hair or that, that's part of this. Is this um, a band across the head? as they wore in the 1920s and then this is the hair so the hair would have some shape but we can do that by hand by just looking at where we are now we seem to have a, a break here goes to there so that looks like a, like a parting and then we've got sort of hair coming down like this and then we'll have hair coming across there like that and here we've got this sort of <coughs> it's kind of like that I think isn't it and then we've got a little bit of band work going here and here and then here goes the um, a circle again and we've got another band there so that is basically the shape of the head <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with my voice let's just pan down a bit there we go I think, I think we could be happy with this I don't throw these away because they're such low tack they can fit onto the paper and they don't get, uh, whoops, and he says, and they don't get destroyed, yeah. That just goes to prove, Alan, you're talking a load of BS. But no, nine times out of ten, it doesn't happen. Maybe I pressed too hard on that, so that's the reason why. Right, so. <coughs> Let's put that to, that's to one side. So I think next we've got to decide 
what black pen we're going to use to uh, to finish this off. So let's have a look here. <coughs> here I've got a 2.2.3.5.8.5 and a 0.1. So if I come in close and show you what we're doing, what we're what we've got. So I'll move this away so we're not being distracted. This is a point zero one. Can you see that? I think that, what might be good is if I took that paper that we were using, or even here, because I'm going to be cussing around. Yes, no, no, don't. Bad idea, Alan. Bad idea. <coughs> Let's get the piece of paper that we cut off. Right then, here we go. This is a zero one. So, as you can see, oh, can we can I go there? That's it. It gives us that kind of mark. This is a zero two. Is slightly thicker and it gives us that. There is a little bit of difference, there's not a lot but there is a bit of difference. Then we got 0, 03 and that gives us again that's that's slightly that's thicker again. Then we go to a zero five. And that is giving us a much thicker, it doesn't look like, but it is giving us a thicker line. And finally, we've got a point eight. So you can see the way that the lines are in this set. These are by Unipin, Unipn Fine Line. They're a water and fade proof pigment ink. Um, it's made Mits Mits Mitsubishi. So I'm probably going to go with the 8 on this one. Now, because of the, <coughs> and you can also, if you're very careful, there's a cap where the cap is. There is, oops, where are we? Where the cap is, there's a window. Can you see that window? If I move that paper up there. There's a window, and there you can look through, and you can see the nib itself. Um, I don't see. Can you, I don't. Can you see that? Can you see the nib? Well, it is there, I, pro oh, I promise you, it is. Right, I'm going to go with the 8. <coughs> Let's now start our drawing. Like once again, I'm, I'll come, I'll just switch out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Once again, I'm going to go, keep my lines, try and keep, where there, where there is a junction, so like there's a junction there, and I'm just going to move it round to there. Because <coughs> that is a junction there. So we can go. Now this is where it gets a bit difficult. This Because we've got all this round here. So we have to decide on what we're going to do. Now myself, I feel a lot better coming back. And meeting up. But there is nothing to say that you can't go the opposite way. So right, let's do. It's, it's a bit frustrating when you, you know, it's uh, 
Let's just go around. Match up. And go down. It is a bit... Um, until you get a feel of it. It's, for some strange reason it's a lot easier to do with pencil. I suppose because with pencil you can rub it out. And with pen, oh sorry, Indian ink, it's final. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slow, slow, I'm going to stop the uh, video now and I will carry on and then I'll come back and we'll talk about what we've done when I finish now. Because I don't want you to sit there and watch me draw, it's, it's totally boring. So I'm going to pause it now and I'll come back soon. Okay, bye for now. There we go. Um, done the colour in now I wasn't very comfortable about doing the hair bit there so what I've done is that I've just then tangling comes to the rescue just do a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of uh, all it is is just circles all it is is just that but now what I need to do is that I do need to tidy up these areas here where the where I've done the circles and they've sort of gone a little bit far over and I've lost that definition of this fan shape here um, so just tidy it up just that little bit just to give it a bit don't worry, we're not going to go too crazy. I just need to give that line just to make it. There we go. And then, because when I was doing some of the circles, they didn't quite. Um, what should we say? They weren't quite. Can you see that little spot there where I made a mistake? So maybe. Let's just put the dot there because that's where I made this slight error. But no, all in all, I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do now is that I'm thinking I have two options. I can cut this out and I can then. I'm wondering, I don't think it'll transfer. It won't. So, I'm left with the option of, do I try pan pastels? Oh, let me just get my Sharpie out for a minute. I've just noticed a little thing here that I'm not quite too pleased about. There we go. These are brilliant, these, these, these Sharpies. The one with the, uh, whoops, the fine end. Right, okay, that's that's good. I'm pleased. Put my pen away. So I think we're gonna have to sit down and think about it. I'm seeing little mistakes now where my colouring in has not been as perfect as it should be. There. So right. Do I do pan pastels or do I do alcohol? Think, Alan. I might actually try alcohol. Get the alcohol pens out and see where that takes us. Because, yeah. Let's try alcohol. Now, these should be okay. But, as in all, before we go anywhere, um, what I'm doing is I've just made a few marks. I'm going to go and get my... Uh, 
get some alcohol pens and let's see if these react because I've not done it before. Right, he says clambering over here. And careful, Alan, don't drop everything like you did the other day. Oh, yeah, it was a bang crash wallop last time. Right. I'm moving from one pile to the other so that I can get at one without dropping everything else. There we go. Yay! Right then. In here, what I've done, I'll just uh, pull back a little bit, wrong way, right? Because what I've done is that I've put my alcohol pens here that tend to be the group. These are all fleshy, all flesh tones, and the pattern, so, and skin tones. And so, I don't have to go searching around in my big box. I've got this box for flesh, and then I've got, whoops, hang on, I'm going to have to do this, this way so I can show you all how I do things. Then, move that to one side, then in this one, I keep all my black, my greys, all the greys, blue greys that I might need from all the sets of like my spectrums. I've got some flexi markers, I've got some pro markers, and I've got the Sharpie, and I've even got graphite. Now I'm liking these a lot. So if anybody would like to donate the set of graphics I will be more than happy I shall do the happy dance with my one crutch yep not two crutches but I will do the happy dance with one crutch yay so that's my black and my greys no that is my grey tones sorry do apologize these are my grey tones then Oh, running out of space. In this one, I have my whites, which should go in a box the same. Put this here, so I can see what I'm doing. So in here, I've decided to put. Um, I've got whites and. For some reason I've put the metallic Sharpies in here, so maybe I should get the metallics from my other ones and put the metallic ones in here as well. Good idea, Batman. Oh, I've just even thought of a better idea. Sorry about this. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. There's more of them than there is of them so that's my black all the blacks and then in here is the black is sorry is the whites and the metallics so that way rather than having to dig around I just go straight for them and they know where they are Right, so, oh, and then I've got one here which has got aqua markers. Um, maybe I should have put the, uh, these ones in the, where's that white one that I had? Metallics here. I'll put the, them in the metallics, I think. Now, I, I don't know why the aqua markers didn't take off. Um... I don't know why, but, and I've got, I don't know where I bought these from, these are pastel chalks, I've not really explored these yet, but, they need, these two need to go in the, 
correct spaces. Whites go in that. So I'll have to have a play with the uh, chalks, the pastel chalks, and see what and see what happens. Okay, right. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I digress. I've got a great bath pile there that needs to be uh, put away. Let's get a flesh tone. This will do. Let's sit down, put that in the centre so we can see. Zoom in. So we can see what's happening. And then. Yeah, it's bleeding. Can you see? It's bleeding. So. Oh, that kind of causes a situation because I can't use the can't use them so the next one we can try all's not felt I'm just going to put you on pause a minute while we go think about something else go make yourself a cup of tea I'll be back in a minute I pressed the wrong button then and it went to uh, it transferred the film across so there could be a bit of a gap now but never mind I've nearly done here so, right, I've been having a think. I'll show you what I tried to do a minute ago. But, there we go, nice and clean. And it's got its own cap. And that is, that's, that cap's you know, it's quite secure when it's in. So, nifty. Nifty, nifty, nifty. Then all I have to do is... Take some um, kitchen kitchen towel and then just look at all this that I picked up out of uh, scraping it. Look at all that. Still missed a bit, but hey ho. Right then, let's just put that there so we can then put that in the bin and start. The next bit. Right. With this, I was struggling. As you know, we tried the Indian, then we tried water, but I tried a wet lick. First of all, we tried um, alcohol, and that bled, because obviously with the Indian ink, it's bled, it's reacted. And then I tried water, a water based, but can you see how it's. Um, no, you can't see there, can you? Because you see. Can you see how it's buckled? So, what am I going to do? So, I thought we might as well as, if I can, I'm going to have to do a digging around now and find my, the things that go with this, because since I've tidied up, I don't know where everything is. But, I thought I might try yeah, pan pastels. Let's just obviously some pan pastels. Um, I've not really explored, as you can see. I've gone overboard, but I've not really explored what these can do yet. So I think we will try to use these. I mean, what I mean, right? Okay, this is just a piece of paper. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If it works, yay! But if it goes wrong, it's just a piece of paper. It's all about experimenting. Then what we can do then is that we then put this into our journal and we write down what happened and that we did this and we did that so that when we come for future, we can then look back and say, ah, oh, right, I remember this. This happened when we did this. This happened when we did that. So we kind of, uh, we did try this alternative. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this and I'm then going to go around and see if I can dig up all my pan pastel bits. They should be around somewhere. Please, please, please tell me. I haven't put them in a bin and done something I shouldn't have done with them. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to close down for a little bit while I go for a search. And I'm going to make myself a cup of tea again because the other one went cold. And we will take it from here. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Hi. Right. 
Um, now then, this is going on the end of this, well you probably watched this video by now and as you can see it's kind of gone all over the place. I've done, I've just gone on a road trip without a map and I don't know where I've ended up but I've ended up in a place where we've done the picture and I kind of waffled on a bit and I need to, I think I need to explain. That paper that I used was a paper that was made specifically for um, doing mock-ups and for doing for using alcohol markers. I shouldn't have, in hindsight, singled out on that and saying you can do this. You more than you can use watercolor paper. You can use other papers that will take um, in the ink and they'll take everything that you throw at them. Um, but I just felt that I was kind of getting swept away with it all, and I needed to put. A lid on it before it went <laughs> exploded. So the paper that I've used is a special medium paper and it's made specially for the graphics industry. It's not made for the crafting industry it's just some stuff paper that I have left over from a previous life. So that's that. Um, so hopefully things are going to be working out. I'm trying this video in a new completely new setup so fingers crossed that's going to work because my old video program went bang pop pop bang so I've spent a couple of well a week in that going through trying different things deleting different programs that were not applicable and there's also a certain company that lets you download a, pro a program free only to charge you five pounds so that you can open your video files now to me that is not free so anyway that's a different story and I'm chasing that one up because I think that is that is a little bit nasty that um, what else is happening so yeah so what I'm going to do now is that I am actually going to explore pan pastels I've not used them to that extent you know like I've sort of, sort of dabbled a little bit um, but I've not used them as I should do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the pan pastels with that image that we did and we're going to so that that will then be a follow-on video from where we're going now so I just felt that I needed to say these few short words at the end of it so that it kind of closed it all and we weren't left in a problem because the trouble is is that when you're making videos over a couple of days you forget what you're doing and where you've been and how you done even how you're dressed so that's that I don't know why my head is itchy do you know what, well we've been out in the garden it's got four of them horrible little flying ants everywhere. So anyway that's that. So right, sorry about that. Things will get back on track and I'm going to just put this bit into the video now so that everything's gone, everything's sorted out and any questions, anything, please send me a message. I will get back to you. I will try and answer questions that, as we're going on but hey ho. Right, thanks very much indeed. Please bear with me. Normal service. I'll say that again. Normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. Thank you and good night.